Hi, today I wanted to share the Learn to Cloud Linux CDFs. So this is basically capture the flag challenge to help you learn Linux and get you those hands-on skills with the Linux command line. And I think about three months ago is when I made my first commit, but we have made some great changes and progress on how you can learn Linux the right way, which is by being hands-on. So this is the GitHub repo, and some of you might be new to my channel, so you don't know what Learn to Cloud is. But basically, Learn to Cloud is an open source guide that teaches you the fundamentals of cloud computing and DevOps. So if you look at phase one, this was Linux and Bash, and I'll let you go over the Learn to Cloud guide by yourself because I wanted to focus on just the Linux CTFs for today. Mm -hmm. But there are some topics within phase one that you should be familiar with. So these are those topics. And to support that, we have the Linux CTFs. So there are two cloud providers where you can launch this lab. So this comes out with all the required things that you need to deploy this in your preferred environment. The two environments that we support are AWS and Azure. And this is built using Terraform. So you don't have to worry about any of these setup process. I'll go over it really quickly, but everything is documented in README. So if we go to AWS, for example, you can see that you need Terraform and AWS ELI. So once you have those installed and configured, basically you do a Terraform apply and it will launch all the necessary things that you need for your lab environment in AWS. And then you can SSH into your Linux instance and start doing the challenges, which are mentioned in the readme. So as you can see, after the environment setup, you have almost eight challenges. So there are beginner level, intermediate level, and advanced level. And we keep on adding new challenges, but you get the idea. This teaches you about the fundamentals of the Linux op operating system and also the command line tools. So see, as we see the first challenge is the hidden file, there's a secret file, largest log, right? You'll get the flags. And I'll give you a quick demo on how you can get started with this. So if I open my VS code, I have the Linux CDFs already cloned locally. So this is the main.tf. Again, you don't have to be familiar with Terraform or understand Terraform, but make sure you have Terraform installed. Uh, it's an IEC tool that lets you deploy cloud infrastructure. So what I'm going to do is open my terminal. Since I'm doing AWS, uh, the Azure process is pretty similar. So I'll cd into my AWS directory and then do terraform init. After doing terraform init, you can run terraform plan to see what all resources will be deployed, or you could do terraform apply directly. So as you can see, it'll add eight resources to my AWS account. Again, I had terraform and AWS CLI already installed and configured. Now I can do terraform apply and it'll give me a prompt if I'm okay to add these eight resources. I'll say yes. Now this should take a few minutes as it is deploying resources to my AWS account. So as you can see, almost after one minute and three seconds, the resources have been added and you'll get a public IP that now you can SSH into. So I'm gonna open Windows Terminal and do SSH CTF underscore user and the public IP that we got as the Terraform output. So I'll hit enter and it'll ask me if I want to add the fingerprint of the server to known hosts because this is the first time I'm trying to connect. I'll type in yes. And now you'll need the password to SSH into it. So if you go to the readme file within AWS directory, the password is mentioned there. There we go. So copy that, paste it here, and you can see that you are now SSH into your Linux VM within AWS Cloud. This is your lab environment. So now you will start solving those challenges that we saw within the readme. Let's go back to the repo in the browser and now you can start doing these challenges. But if you carefully look at the prompt too, as soon as you SSH into your Linux server, you see that we have a verify command line tool now. So once you capture different flags, right, what you can do is use this command. So here's an example. You can do verify space zero space CTF and curly brackets example, hit enter. And you'll see that it says example flag verified. Now try finding real flags. So the first challenge is of finding a hidden file. So I won't go over it. I don't want to share the solution, but let me show you how it'll look uh, if you solve that flag. So I have found that flag and now I can do verify progress just to show you that we have completed 
first was the example flag and then the first actual flag out of the eight. And similarly, you can go ahead and do the rest of the challenges to complete the Linux CDFs. Again, this all ties back to the concepts we have mentioned in phase one. So this gives you the chance to not only learn about these concepts, but also practice them in real by doing this hands-on Linux CDFs. Also, it is very easy to delete your lab environment. So let me exit out of my SSH session here and I can go back to my VS code. And within the terminal where I had done Terraform apply, I can do Terraform destroy. And you'll see that it says it is planning to destroy eight resources. That is correct because we added eight resources with the apply. So I'll just enter yes and wait for Terraform to destroy all the resources that were spin up for the lab environment. And while that happens, I have a giveaway. So I want to give away a few AWS credits so that you can either practice these Linux CTFs or you can use those credits to build your own projects in AWS. So in order to participate, what I want you to do is DM me or message me on Instagram or Twitter, depending on what platform you use. My handle is at Cloud. but also make sure to comment on this video with your own Instagram or Twitter handle. The first five comments on this video who follow the instructions and have DM'd me on Instagram or Twitter will get $20 in credit for AWS. Now, coming back to our terminal within VS Code, you can see that the destroy was complete and all of the eight resources have been destroyed, which means I don't have to worry about any costs or incurring charges now. And what I have seen from the community is if you're familiar with the Linux concepts and you're familiar with, with the phase one topics of Learn to Cloud, it roughly takes you around 30 to 40 minutes on average to complete the Linux CDFs. So once you start, you can do Terraform apply, find the flags, and then at the end, you can do Terraform destroy and it'll clean up all the resources. So I hope that helps you with your learning journey in 2025 and gets you more experience with Linux. If you have any feedback, feel free to open a GitHub issue on the repo. I'll have all the links down below and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.